Hi everyone, in this video I am going to discuss about the wave equations, propagation of waves in rectangular waveguides. So in the rectangular waveguide, if a wave is going to be propagated in x, y and z directions, what are the different equations that it can possess? Like electric field and magnetic field. Okay, so if you consider the electric field EX, EY and EZ, these are the three different electric fields that the wave should have and similarly in the direction of magnetic field it will be having X, Y and Z like HS, HX, HY and HZ. So now I am going to consider a rectangular waveguide. See why I am saying rectangular waveguide means the propagation of waves are different in the circular waveguide. Okay, depending upon the waveguide, these wave equations will be varied. Okay, definitely you should mention whether it is a circular waveguide or rectangular waveguide. So, consider, consider a rectangular waveguide, consider a rectangular waveguide in which the breadth is along is along x direction and width is along y direction then the propagation is in z direction you should definitely mention these three points okay in which directions you have taken the rectangular uh, waveguide okay uh, see here i will draw the rectangular waveguide So consider this rectangular waveguide. See, this is the rectangular waveguide. Now extend this line and take this as x direction and extend this line, take this as y direction okay now what about this one this is the breadth a and this is the width b okay and this is the direction in which the wave is propagated that is nothing but in z direction the wave propagates in z direction means like this okay now the te and Tm wave equations are, see before going to write the wave equations, you should know what is Te and Tm. Already I have explained in the previous video, what do you mean by Te wave and Tm wave? Te wave is nothing but transverse electric. Te is nothing but transverse electric. What do you mean by Tm? Tm is nothing but transverse magnetic. In Te, the electric field is zero, magnetic field is non-zero. In TM, magnetic field is zero and electric field is a non-zero value. Whichever, suppose if you take TE, E term is there, so E equal to zero. In TM, magnetic field is there, so M is H is equal to, HZ is equal to zero. Z is nothing but direction of propagation. Okay, so for TE wave, for TE, wave so what is that for te wave delta square hz ez is equal to 0 delta square hz is equal to minus omega square mu epsilon hz since ez is equal to 0 okay take this as equation 1 next for tm wave for Tm wave, delta square Ez is equal to 
minus omega square mu epsilon ez since hz is equal to 0 this is nothing but second equation okay hope you understand z is nothing but direction of propagation z is nothing but direction of propagation so we here we are writing the wave equations for ez and hz what do you mean by delta square where delta square indicates the del operator in all the directions delta square indicating that del operator or differential operator in all the directions x y and z so delta square is written as dou square by dou x square plus dou square by dou y square plus dou square by dou z square this is what delta means so now substitute this de delta square value in equation 1 and 2 then you will be having the complete wave equation so from equation 1 okay give numbers to each and every equation because we will be having number of times uh, uses of these each and every individual equation so dou square by dou x square plus dou square by dou y square plus dou square by dou z square into what about this one hz first equation is equal to minus omega square mu epsilon hz now just to separate this dou square hz by dou x square plus dou square hz by dou y square plus dou square hz by dou z square is equal to minus omega square mu epsilon hz assume dou by dou z is equal to some gamma it is an operator minus gamma that is equal to what about the dou square by dou z square that is equal to gamma square substitute this gamma square in this then dou square hz by dou x square plus dou square hz by dou y square plus dou square by dou z square into hz so we can substitute this with operator delta uh, gamma square hz is equal to minus omega square mu epsilon hz take this minus omega square mu epsilon hz onto the left hand side then you can take hz as common so dou square hz by dou x square plus dou square hz by dou y square plus gamma square plus omega square mu epsilon into hz is equal to 0 let gamma square plus omega square mu epsilon is equal to h square assume this gamma square plus omega square mu epsilon with h square remember this h square term not only h square whatever the parameters we are adding in between remember all these parameters definitely they will help you in the future calculations okay each and every parameter is valid here okay the same equation h square is equal to gamma square plus omega square mu epsilon will help you when you calculate cutoff frequencies okay cutoff frequency guide wavelength the different parameters are there in future you are going to learn so all these calculations definitely need different types of parameters whatever we are including in this in between okay so now if you substitute this what happens dou square hz by dou x square plus dou square hz by dou y square plus h square hz is equal to 0 this is what the wave equation for the t wave so take this as equation what is the number 3 okay and take this as red uh, keep it in the box 
we will have this equation in the future now this is first equation nothing but te wave this is from the te wave okay hz is there means it is te okay ez is there means that is tm now similarly 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 for tm for tm that is from second equation from second equation what is that second equation delta square ez is equal to what is that equation i will write here delta square ez is equal to minus omega square mu epsilon ez this is the second equation you no need to write entire equation or you no need to do the same calculations whatever you have done previously because delta square is nothing but it is consisting of x y z even if you substitute and manipulate everything you will get the same equation finally so uh, therefore the final equation will be do square e z by do x square plus do square e z by do y square plus h square e z okay in the previous case whatever we have done same manipulation we need to do that is equal to zero okay keep it in the box before that uh, it is the fourth equation fourth equation give numbers to each and every equation because when you are going for the calculation of ex ey hx hy we have to use these equations okay so finally what you are going to do you are going to calculate the wave equations wave equations are nothing but ex ey hx hy okay what is the direction what is the electric field present in the direction of x that is having one equation what is the electric field present in the y that is having one equation like that we will be having four different equations ex ey hx hy these are four are going to be calculated with the help of these two equations the third and fourth okay i will calculate these continue these derivations in the next video Thank you.